I'm ready to do the panel lining. I've got my drying racks all set, and I've got my typical uh, enamel Tamaya panel liner, which is the black, and the dark brown, which I use on the red pieces. Now, there are no white pieces for this kit, so there is no need for the dark gray, so it will be the dark brown for the red and the black for everything else, except for the black pieces, because I've got a new panel liner. This is made by Mech Empire, which is Barbatos Rex's line of paints. This is also an enamel panel liner, and this is called aluminum, which is kind of like a, a non-metallic silver color, which I think is going to really make the black pieces pop out like that, like nothing else I've been able to. It's not, it's not going to be so light as the, as the light gray, and it won't be too dark like the black or the other colors not to show. I think this is going to be really good. Now, the one unfortunate thing is, is that this does not come with its own brush applicator in the cap. So I'll be using this brush right here, just very fine tip to it. Let's see if I can get this up closer and get it focused in. A very fine tip to it so that it can I can have better control over where it's going to go. I think it's still going to make more of a mess than on the piece than these do, but we'll see what happens. So let's just get right on into this. When customizing your gun plot, you're going to be working with things like model glues, various types of paints, and also solvents like paint thinner or isopropyl alcohol are the two most common ones. You want to make sure that you're in a well-ventilated room because you don't want to be uh, inhaling the fumes because they could cause health issues or at the very least make you feel intoxicated. You're going to want to read any warning labels on any products that you use or do some research online to see if there's additional health uh, safety measures you need to take such as respiratory gear or anything such like that. If you are working with isopropyl alcohol, do keep in mind that that is a wood alcohol, which can cause serious health issues, including blindness if consumed. So you want to make sure that you definitely wash your hands after any exposure to it to make sure that you don't get it in your food later on.
Uh, the panel line's all done and they dried, so it's now time to do the cleanup. Before, but before I did that, I wanted to show how this new aluminum panel liner did for me. As you can see, it does highlight the panel lines quite nicely with the, I did the cleanup. That way we can have a comparison on how well the cleanup went. So let's just get right on into this. Now that I've finished the uh, cleanup of the panel lining, I wanted to jump back on real quick just to show the results of using the new uh, Mech Empire aluminum panel liner. So I, I think it does look nice. Um, it helps to break up this just sea of black that sometimes can plague a model. And it, it does, you know, it, it does give some nice highlights. It's not overpowering. You can actually see the detail much better. As you can see, like that long piece right there, especially, you can see the detail in there now. Um, one thing I did notice is with cleaning up, and this could just be because these are really dark black pieces, so I this may happen on the other ones, but because they're not so dark and I'm using different colors, they they don't show as much, but there does seem to be a little bit more residue on the piece after cleaning it up, no matter how many times I went over. And because of that, I did change my uh, cotton swab multiple times so I could reduce the amount of um, residue on it. But since I plan on doing a matte coat for protecting this at the end, that residue isn't going to be a big issue because once the matte coat is on, that residue is not going to... And, and it doesn't show up real bad right now, but you can kind of see a little bit of residue. Especially if you look at this piece right here, you can kind of see a little bit more of the residue on there. But I do think overall, using this, and it's the only real metallic panel liner I've been able to find... Um, and I think the aluminum color, it not being so shiny, because if this was silver, this would be a lot shinier. I know it does seem shiny, but it's not as much um, on the pieces that, you know, this works really nice. Now, one thing to point out, as you can see, the medium that or the uh, solvents that it's in is different than the Tamiya. Um, it, Tamiya is just their clear uh, enamel thinner. This one is a kind of a, a darkish, not quite brown, but kind of like a golden honey color. So I think this might be lacquer um, thinner instead, or some lacquer base that's being used. And because of that, it had a bit stronger of a fume. So I did wind up wearing a mask, just a regular good old, you know, uh, N95 mask while putting this on. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind, which I don't normally need the mask when I'm using the Tamiya. Um, but overall, I'm very happy with it. So I just wanted to share this with you. So now you can see me go ahead and clean up all the pieces. <music>
Thank you for watching this video right to the end. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up. That does help out the channel. If you would like notifications as to when new videos are posted to this channel, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you do have time, please do enjoy one of the videos that are popping up around my head.